So we're here at the Bermad Test and Training Facility to talk specifically about the 700 series range of control valves and their accreditation to the Australian standard called AS5081. We're very proud to say that Bermad are the only facility in which is today fully accredited and certified for the standard which has been set up for diaphragm actuated control valves being used in potable water supply in Australia. In 2008, the Australian Valve Committee, which comprises of manufacturers, uh, water board operators and people in the water industry generally, gathered together to have the WS022 Valve Committee to generate this standard. Now the purpose of the standard was to generate a level of competency and specification of a product that enabled this type of product to be used anywhere in Australia uh, to a very high degree of security, reliability and performance characteristics. We know that in Australia the difference in water qualities from east to west, north to south varies dramatically and that has a major impact on the performance and long-term reliability of the valve. A couple of the imp key important things about the standard is the valves first of all have to be approved to an additional standard called AS4020. Now AS4020 is a standard that says I'm going to subject this valve to drinking water for periods of time and I have to make sure that nothing in the valve influences the taste and quality of the water. So first of all the thing is that these valves are all approved to AS4020 which ensures the valve will not contaminate or deteriorate the water quality of drinking water. The next thing is is that the valves were uh, or are also approved to Australian standard AS4158. Now AS4158 is the, the standard for the internal and external coating of a metallic valve used in potable water. Now it's very difficult for a manufacturer overseas to be applicable to this standard because there are many, many aspects to the, the application, the pretreatment, the nature of the product to make it compliant to this standard. The next standard which the valve had to be approved to is the Australian standard for flanges that attach to mating pipework. Now the problems which most North American or European manufacturers of control valves have is that the valves are usually manufactured with American standard flanges or European standard flanges and simply have a drill pattern to suit the Australian standard. That doesn't comply. Bermad completely comply to the standard for flanges which includes the thickness of flange, the raised face of the flange, the thickness of the raised face and the overall bolt pattern and drilling pattern. And that's exceptionally important when mating control valves to smaller and larger size isolating valves or mating flanges. One of the really important aspects to the materials of construction which the standard uh, brought up was that the internal components and specific internal shafts and seats were insistent on being made of grade 316 stainless steel which makes them really applicable to water qualities around Australia where other grades of material simply deteriorate very quickly. This is an expensive and uh, a more difficult product to apply to an application like this and costs more money but it's exceptionally important that with the approval of the standard means you can use the valve anywhere in Australia with drinking water without fear of any short term or long term wear or corrosion on certain metallic components inside the valve. One of the most important aspects of the standard was the testing regime which has to be done and passed and tested for the valve to be accredited to AS5081. There are 13 different tests that the valve has to perform in, in long-term endurance, short-term performance characteristics and the valves have to be stable within a certain parameter. One of the reasons why these performance tests were generated is it gives the potential buyer or 
person who's interested in the valve to see what the characteristics of the valve are under those operating conditions. So, one of the things we're going to demonstrate now is the testing of the valve being operated from a flow condition down to zero with the gauge staying within 30 kPa tolerance that's required within the valve. We're looking at the downstream pressure of 300 and slowly I'm going to reduce the flow and the pressure on the downstream side of the valve should remain constant. So now, as I reduce the flow, we can see the upstream pressure increasing, but the downstream pressure remains a constant. As I continue to turn it slowly, it's still maintaining the same pressure. Here we're now up to around about 1100 kPa, still at 300 downstream. And as I continue to shut the flow off, I'm going to take it all the way to zero. So what I've just demonstrated now, the flow is at zero, the flow meter has stopped turning. We now have 1200 kPa or 120 meters of pressure here and we've stayed within the three meter tolerance on the downstream side of the valve. So in summary, in relation to the Australian standard AS5081, what does it mean to you as an operator, designer or potential user of the product? It ensures that you're getting a proper, properly certified product, fully approved to this standard. You know that if you're going to use such a product, you know there's going to be batch tests that are going to be done every year on these products as they go through production. You know that every year SAI Global is going to travel to the factory and audit the process to make sure that we're staying within that process. And most importantly, it's going to ensure that you as a user are getting a long-term safe, reliable product that's going to be fit for purpose for many years to come. A copy of the accreditation and the certificate is available on our website under every product which has this certification so that you can see that the valve is properly certified and that's available on bermad.com.au on every product page or under the approvals page.